It was like living in a fantasy for one night. The guys are finally doing what women have been doing for years. Well, which is what? Taking it off. I mean, men strip in front of women. I thought it was the stupidest idea I've ever heard. There it is, Chippendales. Every single night was packed. They came up to you, they kissed you. Oh my God. It was exhilarating. Every night was different. There was a lot of drinking, lots of drugs. You got hit on. I ended up inviting the cop home. <laughs> Chippendales was our place. Things had evolved from a small club to this huge empire. Steve Banner he took Paul Snyder's idea and turned it into something big. Now we had lighting cues, music cues. The Chippendale. We're not doing Cats or Hamilton. It's a fucking burlesque show for women. Women all over the world love Chippendales. It's just perfect. But then all that changed. Hello? Near the ambulance service. Ambulance yeah, shot in my office. What's the name of your place? Uh, this is Chippendale. Oh, wow. Wait, wait, what? The victim was laying on the floor with a bullet hole in his head. Was it something tied with chip and nails? Who could have done this? There was no fingerprints, no picture evidence. And that's sort of where everything started to turn. I got a call from two gentlemen. They told me that there was a murder attempt out for me. The plan involved murder by cyanide poisoning. This was just the beginning. What the heck's going on here? The bigger we got, the more the problems piled up. It got crazy. I'm gonna make life fucking miserable for you. You gotta be kidding me. Were you in the house when the bodies were discovered? Yes. What? It became a wild ride in paranoia land. I was completely out of control. I wanted to burn the place down. The most bizarre murder and murder for hire plot in the history of the FBI. It was a message. Don't mess with Chippendales.